Coming up next on TNA Before the Bell, Victory Road. We take a special look back at the events that have transpired over the last two weeks. The shocking return of the icon on March 3rd rocked the world of professional wrestling as Sting captured the TNA world title. Is Sting the face of TNA wrestling? You're asking the founder? You're actually asking the founder if Sting is the face of TNA wrestling? Absolutely not. Far from it. Far from it. I was shocked. I think just like anybody else, you know, we saw Sting return to Ten Pact. You know, it was, a, it was a pleasant surprise, really, you know, because I've been a huge Sting fan from you know, such a small age. And to see him come back and make the impact that he did and win the world title uh, from Jeff Hardy, that was, a, that was a great moment. Between him and some other people, I always say that they're done. And I, I think it's great. I, I mean, I'm not, like, calling for him to quit or anything like that. Just make him be damn mine. Now, he must defend his championship against Jeff Hardy on March 13th at Victory Road. That's my prediction, yeah. You put me in the main event, and I, I can pretty much guarantee you I will be the title. Who will the number one contender be at lockdown for the TNA championship? Mr. Anderson battles Rob Van Dam. And now that I'm on this path, this Victory Road, I got nothing but positive energy behind me. Which two TNA stars will walk into the cage in lockdown and risk everything for a shot at the gold? TNA Before the Bell Victory Road starts right now. What did I think of Sting's return? I thought it was very surprising. Um, you know, TNA, we, we, we do, we offer lots of surprises. And I think that's one of the cool things about our company that our fans, I think, respect the most. And to bring the Stinger back, well, even myself thought that he, you know, hung the boots up. I thought he was retiring. One of the last talks I had with him before he left was he thought that this might be it. He thought he was done this time for real. And I know people sitting at home like, oh, I've heard that before. But with Sting, he seemed pretty dead set on it. So uh, to see him back was very, very shocking. Cool moment for TNA, I thought. On March 3rd, Sting made his triumphant return to the TNA ring. After months of speculation, the icon was back, ready to prove to the world that he was still one of the best in this business. Uh, Sting's return surprised me, quite honestly. Um, you know, I didn't think he'd ever come back to CNA, but uh, you know, uh, I was proven wrong. He did, he came back and uh, defeated me for the world title. And it, is, it is what it is. Uh, all I can do now is try to get him back. Sting's been around a while. I think it's about uh, time for me to leave for good. I don't know how I feel about Sting. I can feel this, Daddy. Oh, do catch. Sting's return. He's gonna be a one-hit one. But you know what? Sting uh, is a guy who's always been a big money ball player. And uh, he obviously came prepared. Uh, huge night. He's uh, no stranger to the world title. But uh, he always rises to the occasion. But I think Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy without a doubt, will rise to the occasion this Sunday. Uh, there's just something about Hardy and the world title at this time and Immortal and the vibe going on. Uh, I think you're going to see a title switch this Sunday. Do I think Sting's got what it takes to continue to be the champion? Yes, yes. Sting, Sting's pedigree is, is being a world champion. Okay, that's what he's brought in this business to become. And that's what he is right now. From day one, he was being bred to be a champion. I give myself the loop. But um, honestly, yeah, he definitely has what it takes. 100%. On Sunday, March 13th at TNA Victory Road, exclusively on pay per view. Jeff Hardy will battle the icon Sting for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Will Immortals Jeff Hardy regain the power in TNA? Or will Sting be able to rise above and start the next chapter in his historic and epic career? Well, you know what, I mean, <laughs> since 10, 10, 10, we've seen Jeff Hardy's basically willing to do anything. And Jeff Hardy's, you know, one of the biggest scumbags in the business, so, uh, you know, uh, I expect it's going to be a tremendous match, but uh, you never, you never can tell with Jeff Hardy and Immortal. You know, I think Sting, uh, Sting's come back with something to prove. I think he's going to keep that. Going. Sting's a face of TNA wrestling. When you talk about the face of TNA wrestling, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, it's just Jeff Hardy. Well, you know, I think uh, you know Sting to be able to beat Jeff Hardy uh, on Impact. I don't think it was a fluke. You know, I think that uh, Sting is still the man. You know, in this day and age. You know, Sting obviously 
he still got it. And I think that uh, with him as the world champion, I think he's going to be around for a long time. I think he's going to hold that title for a while. Rob Van Dam, a TNA world champion that never lost his title. I'm back in control again. In case you haven't noticed, things are going my way again. Yeah, I had my match with Jeff Hardy, and it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to, but things have taken a turn. You know how long I waited to have that match. I got it. Everybody can see I got screwed. It's only a matter of time before I'm back in that position again, so things are going good for me. I'm feeling positive about everything, and definitely about what you just said. Yes, I plan on main eventing the next pay-per-view. I think his strengths are, uh, I think he's a tough competitor. He's, he's, you know, from a distance, he doesn't look like he's a very big guy. He doesn't look like the biggest guy in the world. He's solid. He's about as solid as you can get. He's thick. Uh, if he doesn't want to go somewhere, you ain't going to move him there without whooping his ass first. The fact that he can do all the aerial acrobatic stuff, when it, when he can pull it off, it's great. It's phenomenal. It looks pretty, too, and the fans love it. They go, yay. But by that same token, when he goes to do all that pretty aerial acrobatics and stuff like that, um, he kind of puts himself at risk. He kind of puts himself in harm's way. He's too worried about these people out here impressing them with his little hi-ya. Then just, I'd rather just punch a guy in the face. I don't want to do a backflip. I want to punch you in the face. It means like all the wait's finally over. I mean, I'm not just here punching in and bagging groceries and punching out. I'm here telling everyone in the whole world I'm the whole effing show. Now, how am I gonna do that if Bischoff's got me on the bottom of the card wrestling Jersey Shore fist pump guy one week, who knows who the next week, being on the top in the main event in the championship position, that's where I gotta be, that's where I belong, that's where I can do good, not just for me, because I am just here to show off. I mean, uh, <clears throat> you know, professionally, that's my goal anyway, but also, that's how I can help this company. The networks know that. Mr. Anderson, another former world champion, won the gold last January, but lost it back to Jeff Hardy last month at Against All Odds. I mean, it's, it's obvious. I, I think it should be obvious. I have said all along I've not changed my tune, I've not changed my story, that I'm in this business, my job here is to become the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. And I was there once, and then, you know, I'm not gonna say that it was Eric Bischoff's fault, because I accepted the match, and I was in that match, and I lost that match fair and square, but uh, what this means is if I pin RVD, I tap him out, I get him counted out, whatever, And I get to get the opportunity to take what's mine back. Back to Green Bay. Back to Title Town, where it belongs. What does that mean to Ken Anderson? You know, Mr. Anderson and Ken Anderson aren't too far apart. I really don't care if anybody likes me. I really don't care if uh, nobody agrees with me. I care that my dog likes me, and that is pretty much taken care of as long as I feed him. And I care that my wife likes me. Other than that, everybody else can kiss my ass. He doesn't realize his own position. He thinks that he's better than he is. To tell you the truth, I think his whole shtick on the microphone, his walk, everything looks a little bit familiar. I think I've seen it done before. Of course he would say that. Of course he would. I don't flip around and do flippity flops and cool looking stuff. You know what? What wins football games? 
basics. Tackling. Defense. That's what wins wrestling matches, too. I don't have to have all this high-flying aerial acrobatic stuff. If I punch you in the face and you go down, it doesn't matter if I do a somersault before I punch you in the face, right? I mean, that's just, uh... I guess he's gotta have something. The way that I see it, this road that I'm on right now, the Victory Road, if you want to go back far, far enough, you know, anytime we measure our paths, you can pick a starting point, you know. But the way that I see it, the path that I'm on right now just started when I got out of the maze, the maze of obstacles that was detouring my efforts every which way. And just like the art of parkour, it's all about moving on forward and making it look effortless, regardless of obstacles that appear in your way. It's an art of moving forward, and it's all about maintaining balance while you're doing it. I think I did pretty good. I may have lost my temper a couple times out there, but to be honest, they kind of like it when you do that. You know, when you're a wrestler and you show some aggression, so. Two men fighting in a number one contenders match. Who will it be? Mr. Anderson or Rob Van Dam in the main event at Lockdown. You ask me who I'd rather face? I guess, selfishly, I would have to say Jeff, just because of our history. I'd love to just, oh my God. He's got, he's gonna get his someday, I promise you. Um, if that doesn't happen to be the case, I want to face whoever happens to be the TNA World Heavyweight Champion at that particular moment so that I can beat the TNA World Heavyweight Champion to become the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Champion. If that's a serious question, I'll take, uh, I'll take a match with Hardy over a match with Sting any, any day. I've got a beef to settle. I've got scores to even with Hardy, not with Sting. That was thing. I mean, you know, uh, we had our moment. You know, I got an opinion of what Sting's about. And if I remember right, I think I settled that score with a five-star frog splash on pay-per-view, Mr. Pay-per-view style. So now, if he comes back, um, I don't know. What's he what? what is, what's he doing here? It's me. Who will be the champion when the dust settles at Victory Road? Will Jeff Hardy regain his title? You know, Sting, uh, I grew up watching that guy, and like, quite honestly, if, if he's one of the people that thinks uh, immortals lost their power, they lost their edge, uh, he's dead wrong because uh, you know, I grew up watching Sting, and I would like to, uh, at this point in my career, be the guy that retires Sting. And, uh, and, and it's good, see? Uh, he's been around a little too long. It's time for him to pick, pick it up and uh, move on to the next stage of his life, take care of his family. But uh, yeah, the rings for him, it's, it's a little uh, too late for him. The main event at Victory Road, Sting, Jeff Hardy. My personal favorite is going to be Sting, of course. I don't like Jeff Hardy. I don't like Immortal. I think when the one, two, three is going to be counted, it's all said and done. I think Sting will retain. He'll still be a world champion. Will Sting prove to the world that he is the man yet again? Who's going to win at Victory Road, Sting or Jeff Hardy? <sighs> Battle Jeff twice now, and uh, it's not just Jeff Hardy that Sting's going to be bad. That's the thing. There's wild cards in the equation whenever it comes to Immortal or Jeff Hardy. You see what I'm saying? If that match is straight up, straight lace, no shenanigans, no clown car coming out to the ring with 35 guys jumping out of it to screw Sting over, then Sting, yes, yeah, Sting could definitely retain that title. But never underestimate Jeff Hardy. That's what I got with working with Jeff with two straight ones and eight points. You can't trust him as far as you can throw. TNA Victory Road. It all goes down on Sunday, March 13th, exclusively on Pay-Per-View. Immortal, can you hear it? That's your time in TNA Wrestling coming to an end. Hulk Hogan, Jeff Hardy, Eric Bischoff, embrace these final moments because I can see the light at the end of your tunnel. I'm on a path of destruction and you are standing in my way. The road to lockdown starts now.
TNA Wrestling presents Victory Road, live March 13th, only on pay-per-view.